Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to PGA Tour Career Mode, this part 65. And I think we're the defending champion in the US, are in the Open as well as the US Open. We didn't defend our US Open, let's see if we can defend the Open. I think we won two majors last year, and this was one of them. And we're looking to become a four-time major champion as we did win the first major of the year. So, are we going to hit driver here? We'll come back to a three-wood just in case. And we're going to get the first round underway with a terrible hook. It's going to be short of the water, though, so that's going to be a fine angle into the hole. Lucky I didn't hit driver, huh? All right. Well, we won our last tournament, which was the mid-season classic. And that was it's that was good. At least it's presenting that challenge uh, for the players that don't get every other day. And this will test the player. I mean, it's one thing to play with no wind and perfect conditions, but as we know, Ooh. A, a golf is a I think actually areas. that I haven't put Everybody's it back to the hardest to difficulty. I had it on tour mode for the um, the what do you call it? The community challenge that's going up tomorrow. Hey, I'm gonna put a, up a community challenge every Sunday now at 3 p.m. So get hyped for that. Uh, it's actually it's the best one yet by far. It's so much fun. It was so much fun to do. Uh, uh, it's, it has whiskey. It has vinegar. It's great. We have a new putter as you can see here, guys. Nike method. This is the same one as I have in real life, except this is definitely more black. My one's just silver, but um, it's a really sexy putter. I like it a lot in real life. I was extraordinarily close to going into the hole, but just right. Just right. So, we're going to see what we can do with the Open Championship. First round, here we go. Frank, you can see by the reaction. It has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. A few too many pars. No shit, that's the first hole. Establish a good round in these opening holes, Frank. Idiot. Where did I say no? That's a perfect drive, assholes. But, um... You really see, see the time of the golf course. The middle of the golf course is protected. There's a, there's a series of bunkers. 310, perfect. The left is always the safe side of the golf course. It's the best line to I love how far you can drive it on this course because uh, how like, tick the, the right greens side. are. And we see that here at the second. You'll be surprised how far the ball runs as well. So I'm going to literally play this like the same as it should be. Ooh, there's a nice little hill. It needs to come in a little bit. See, watch this kick now. See what I mean? They do not see it. Pin high that was. That was five miles an hour wind to, into us and five foot up, and I hit that short swing two percent, and I was only hitting at the same distance as the hole. So, as you can see, it's not going to be easy at all. So this kind of a double breaker here. Looks like it's. Mm, I don't know. I think it's pretty straight actually. Oh, we left it short. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Goddamn fly flying around my face. It's annoying the crap out of me. Even pa, currently. Oh, I got him. Got him! Even no, I didn't, actually. Little prick. He made me smash my elbow off the table as well. <laughs> Ow! Okay, so Paul Casey, Webb Simpson, Justin Leonard have... The early lead, tied for the lead. We're into the wind here on the front nine, which is kind of a bummer. But that's a perfect drive. Perfect. Just perfect. And now we're going to have a nice little dinker in. Hopefully the winds don't pick up too much. Because otherwise, this course turns into a nightmare. position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. This Seems to the game. ball's way above our feet like here, isn't it? Bunkers don't seem to be in play. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Wow. What a beauty. What a beauty right there. Perfect. And we have a chance for our first birdie of the tournament. Let's see if we can get this Nike method putter going. And yes, it's a birdie. Justin Leonard gets the five under. And you can and we the pick up 15. The Hopefully the wind does pick up though, honestly, over the few weeks. It will make it a lot more entertaining, a little bit more fun. I love playing in the heavy winds and stuff. Strategically placing your way around instead of just hit it. Instead of just hitting. That's not a great drive there, it's short swing 4%. But we can come in heavy here. I know that it's 5 mile an hour winds into us, but the amount that's going to run with a 6 iron... That's pretty crazy. Watch, watch it run. 
See what I mean? See what I mean? Perfect. Even though the wind's into you and the ball, it's a little bit uphill, you still have to come short. It's kind of weird. It's it's a lot different than playing the, the normal courses. Let's see if we can make back-to-back -back birdies here. Oh, I pulled that. I straight pulled that putt. Well, that's just the case of not focusing. That would have been in. What a lapse in concentration. I pulled it a tiny bit, and we missed it. It's a sexy, sexy looking putter when it's black, though. I wish I'd got the black one. Alright, let's just have a solid opening round. Try to defend our championship. This fairway looks like it narrows quite a bit, Frank. Are you thinking eagle when you step up onto the tee? Um, well, you could, especially if you've got a little bit of breeze oh, yeah. behind you. But, um, it's quite the breeze is not behind us, but that's still 320 yards into the wind. See these fairways, they run like hell, man. Makes it a lot easier. Let's see if we can reach this reachable par 5 then. It's only 222. Really? We're gonna have to come back another one then. No. We're gonna put a little bit of loft on this one, give it about 214. Perfect. Perfect. Now get that hop. Get a nice hop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. That's gonna be a little dinker for Eagle there. A five footer for an Eagle. Six footer. Okay. Not that much break. And bombs away, Eagle. And we're to three under all of a sudden. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, let's get Leonard. Perfect. What the? Um, some sort of tee shot. Three bunkers that oh my that god, what the hell? I didn't hit anything there. And that was perfectly straight. It's a glitch. I know that I hit that perfectly straight, and it showed it on the meter that I hit that perfectly straight. So don't give me this shit. That's excuses. Just excuses. No, it isn't. That's factual. I did not hook that shot in any way. You can see it from the meter down the left. It was dead straight. Sometimes this game just fucks up. Kick in a little bit. It's so annoying as well. Right when I was on a roll, getting an eagle, and it fucks me up with a shot like that. Whatever, let's get it. I have to get over it, I guess. And now we have this fucking ridiculous spot. Okay. Great. It's a freaking lot of break, Jesus Christ. Breaks back the other way when it gets up the hill, that's the only thing. It's a pretty good line, just didn't have enough pace. Well, still a par though, we got away with the terrible drive. The glitchy drive. And we're three under through six holes, we should be able to have the solo lead after this tournament. The winds seem to be pretty tame at the moment, so... We should be fine. Hit the down slope and bounce this forward. That's 318. We're going to have a little dinker in. A little chip. There's the approach shot starting to find the rhythm now after that balky beginning. Good opportunity here. Ba ba boo. Little bit short. Shouldn't have put the loft on it. It would have been perfect otherwise. That's right. In the sport. Every green hit regulation. Did he just say my name? Did he say Healy? Yes! I don't think so, but it sounded like he said Healy giving us a demonstration there. Or maybe he said really giving us a demonstration, that's probably what it was. So we could be tied for the lead after this hole if we hit a good one. Oh yeah. Kick now, get that nice little kick forward. Yeah, that's an absolute scormer. Scorcher, I meant to say Scormer. I was going to say Stormer or Scorcher, but I kind of mixed them together. Scormer. Alright, let's see if I can... Get to... Five under and tie the lead! St. Andrews is actually pretty easy when there's no wins. We're five under through eight holes there. A little bit easy, isn't it? 
features a couple of fairway I tried to hit that as fast as I could and I did a pretty good job we should be on the front end of the green there oh we're gonna be in the middle of the green actually wow it's gonna be a long ass eagle putt but it is an eagle putt we're nearly at the back of the green this green too is so flat. Very oh, they're not even going to give us a read, huh? If you get that, pull the head cover off the drop. Cheers, Les. Remember, this is the only chance you get to play the old course. Screw it. Let's just go straight at it, I suppose. It's down three inches. That's not much at all. I hooked it. I hooked the shit out of that one. It would have been pretty good if I hit it straight, I imagine. Frank can't fault him there, trying to make an eagle. It might have had a chance, but a it was it was actually pretty dead straight. One? Well you couldn't see any it. break, I guess. That's what it would be like to play with them um, without the the green grid. That's a par though. Our birdie, sorry, because that was a par four. <laughs> yeah, this is getting real easy all of a sudden. Imagine being six under through nine holes in a major with the hardest difficulty on. Uh, not tour mode. Tour mode is not the hardest difficulty. If you think tour mode is the hardest difficulty, you're completely wrong because it doesn't. Tour mode does not have advanced swing mechanic or advanced lie effect, and I have both of them on. But um, so anyone that says I'm shit at this game can suck a dick. And we're in the bunker. Okay, now you can say I'm shit at this game. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. They, I hate the way they put you back in the bunker. That's kind of annoying. Like I, I kind of wish they'd actually punish me for going into the bunker, but they just put me back into the middle of it. Second shot. They should make me have to hit out sideways. Let's actually do this and put a little loft on. To make sure we come out properly. Oh no, we hit the lip. So we still would have to come out sideways. Okay. All right. Second of the par four goes begging and. Now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, it's par chance. That would be a first bogey of the day. We don't want that right now. Just as after I was talking about how good I was and praising myself, I hooked it. Did I? Oh no! Wow. Okay, it didn't break as much as I thought it would at all. Just a couple of feet. So yeah, we bogey the hole where I was talking about how good I was. That's because I hit it into the goddamn bunker off the tee. That was dumb. But, um, par three. Short enough par three. 150 yards. 195. Oh, that's the women's tee. Yeah, the song was made famous by the left bunker, which is called the hill, where Bobby Jones, when he first played St. Andrews, couldn't get the ball out of the bunker, so in the end he actually ripped up his scorecard. A lot's changed since then, but the hole hasn't lost its luster. He ripped up his scorecard because he couldn't get out of the bunker. Ooh, nasty. Jesus Christ, lots of break to the right there. Did they just say Tiger? Come on, dude. I'm Healy, damn it! Alright. The back nine is always way harder in St. Andrews, though, you have to remember that. Um, like, everyone in the major this year was always shooting way better on the front nine than they were in the back nine. If you went under par on the back nine, you were absolutely superb. Well, you are, unless you're playing into a head breeze. Because if you are playing a head breeze, then you've got to worry about the four bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway. Um, touch a help, or if you're a long hitter, then all you've got to do is worry about that little pot bunker just short of this green. Those balls left and right. Oh my god, I'm way too big. That is going miles over. Yeah. I should have hit a three wood there, honestly. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Sit, sit, sit. Nice. Perfect. That's going to be a tap in birdie to take the solo lead again. Back to level par on the back nine here. So they do say if you shoot, can shoot level par or under par on the back nine, you're doing really, really well. So hopefully we can do that. It gets really hard close to the end, like 15, 16, 17 are really tough holes. 18's not too bad, but 15, 16, 17 are pretty hard. either right or left of something that you can see. The two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond those and if you Oh come on, I thought I was gonna get over that. Please get over that. Please get over that. Oh thank you, beast god. 
Because that would have been terrible. You can't get out of that um, without hitting the lip. We're lucky there. That ball's sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Fast three percent. Come in a little bit. Come in a little bit. Jesus, stay out there, huh? Where are you, wind? Playing this part. Where are you when I need you? On the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Okay. Um, let's see if we can. Shot. Maybe get away here with pop. Remember how fast these greens are now for chipping and shit. We haven't really had too many chips yet. But look at that. Oh. Nice approach shot. We'll be happy with that, that was pretty good. I thought it was gonna go a little bit further past. It's fine. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Records continue to fall. Craig, what's the strategy? Really? If you can't go for this uh, I doubt it. five and two, Rich, um, there is another option where you can go left, and I mean left of left. That's down the fourth fairway. That's uh, across the Elysian Fields, um, as they call it, which is a, a set of sort of hu uh, hummocks that run. Oh down Jesus the hill. Christ! And, uh, you can find a flat lie there. I absolutely smashed. That's going to go into the rough, unfortunately. I think. Stop short of it. Stop short of it. No, it will. It will. That's beautiful. 345. Okay, we can get there, but I don't want to be too far either. I think we can hit the the um, hybrid instead of the three wood. Yeah, definitely. I think that actually might be a little bit too much even. I hooked it. I hooked it, but it's not that bad. Kick in right a little bit, please. Okay, I got that fly. I got that fly that was flying around and he's stuck to my baby finger now. That's disgusting, but um, I got him. I got him! Frank, really good chance from this, this is not a nice little chip, huh? Yeah, We're gonna really have to put full loft on this right flag, and just this dink it up there. Right just land it right on that little hill there. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that was gorgeously done. On the green. We could have left it where it was and it would have been probably about an inch away. Maybe a, a tap in birdie again. We got the seven on now. So with that made, and one under on the back nine. 15, 16, 17 coming up. The three hardest holes on the course. Well, the three of the hardest holes. The old course, just a classic example of Lynx golf where you might be aiming for something that isn't even on the golf course beautiful exactly there's a, a nice line there in between the two humps that you can see in front of you off the tee if you keep looking down you see the church steeple that's the perfect line for the tee shot gotta be careful with the second shot coming up um, you see the 16th tee and out of bounds to the right of the screen and a little pop bumper what the hell Look, that was dead straight as well. Why did it go left? I don't get this game sometimes. How did that go left if it's dead straight on the thing? You make no sense, PGA. That's twice now that's happened in the same round. A dead straight shot just ends up going left for no reason. That was, that was terrible. That was bad. That's not worked out that bad, but that was bad. Yep, that's a good par. That's a great par. Good up and down. Corner of the dike. Now another par for the 16th, <laughs> Frank, and another hole where precision off the tee is going to be paramount. Yeah, the norm, the norm of the tee is really to avoid series of three bunkers. That one I can understand because there was a little bit of overswing, and it's pointing it's a small bit left. Sure. But like the, la the other two, I just don't understand. And they went way left as well. I don't get it at all. Pop bunker once again in the front left of the screen called the wig. That's also to be avoided. Another difficult green. Looks a little oh, yeah. simpler from the That's real good, I think. If it sits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy birdie, as they say. I'll probably miss this now that I've said that nearly, but no. That's perfect. And that's the eight under with a three shot lead, the open championship. Too easy. Too easy open championship. Frank, this may well be the most famous hole in the world. It's the road hole here at the old course, number 17. Yeah, without doubt, Rich. I was hooked. Um, the vistas have changed over the years. Used to be yeah, I hate this hole. It's a great hole, but I mean, I hate it. 
across the I don't hate it, it's just hotel. incredibly hard. So blind tee shot, further right you go, the shorter and the better angle you have in. And you need a good angle. That was a perfect shot. But that's going to be in the bunker. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stay there. Into the okay. tall cabbage. That ball that's all right. I just didn't want to be in that bunker. Another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the one we just saw. Oh, get in. Get in. Oh. Pretty good shot right there. Beautiful. And that's going to be an easy par on the road hole. That's what I'm talking about. Too easy. Now let's just birdie the last, get the nine under, four shot lead. Boom, boom, boom. Easy stuff. The Open Championship. So much history has been made through the years. Yeah, one of my uh, favorite memories. Um, I remember oh, you know, Jack Nicholas when he beat Doug Sanders in that playoff. Hit the path. Hit the path. It's going to be over the path, damn it. If you hit that path, you can get some bounce, I'd say. A great moment that stands out with Seven, making that 15 footer across the hill in 1984 wearing the blue sweater. Not only did he win the Open Championship, but he beat a tremendous field that included Bernard Langer, Tom Watson, Fred Couples. Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. Okay. It's a birdie chance to get the nine on that. And I love that fist pump. It was pure savvy. All that fire, all that passion came flying out. And that's where you just sort of fell in love with the game. Yep. 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 What a round. Easy stuff. Nine under. That's pretty crazy, actually. That's, that's, I don't know. That was, I prefer the rounds where it's like we're struggling and we're making some bogeys, we're making some pars. The nine unders are obviously nice to have, but I mean, I don't know. We got level 90 now, we have Nike shoes, so I'm going to be switching to all Nike shoes. Beautiful, beautiful. You'll see them in the next part. You'll see it on our Friday outfit. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure to hit it with a big like. I'm sure we unlocked some stuff for some other stuff, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it was just the shoes, actually. I think it said four items. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure to hit it with a big like. And we will be back with the next round of the Open Championship, where we lead by four in the next part. Mahalo.